European level. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Beres. Now, on behalf of the non-attached, Mr. Stadler. So, Chancellor, domestic policy is for back home, and therefore I don't want to look at the differences between you and your finance minister. But what have you really tried to do? What's happened with the crisis? We've just shifted risk to the European taxpayer. We have passed on a debt. We have bought time with billions. We've done nothing. We've got record unemployment in Spain and Portugal, over 25%, over 50% among young people. I don't need to repeat the figures. Zero growth, mutualizing debt. We've got a, a banking union that's leaving aside the financial sector. We haven't tackled speculation. We haven't involved the private sector to any extent, although in all European councils, uh, this is a pledge made to European tax basis, although we've got tax evasion that we can't deal with. Uh, there were complaints, criticism from Mr. Dorr, but nothing's happening. Uh, he has no solution either. We've got a billion uh, of euros being paid to crisis countries that are getting money again now, and we're taking on the liability without any stability, without any structural changes being brought about, and without any proper budget consolidation. Instead, we're just uh, praying for things to be better. We could have done that. Uh, you didn't need to come to Strasbourg just to say the same old thing. On behalf of the EPP group. Mr. Milan Mon. Thank you, President, and thank you, Chancellor, for the spirit of solidarity which you've shown in your other comments on the future of Europe, a future which today is possibly less uncertain than it was a year ago. Progress made by Council.